Hey everybody, this is Amadeus with Rusty Pirate Gaming. Today we're going to show you how to set up your very own Rust server with or without Oxide mod. The first thing you should do is navigate to the Steam command link that I provided in the description and download the zip file. You'll have to have this in order to set up any kind of Rust server. If you want to use Oxide mod along with your server, you're going to also want to download the latest edition of Oxide for Rust Experimental from the link that I provided. Once both zip files have downloaded, extract them to their own folders and find the Steam command application within the Steam command folder. Once you've started that, you should see a command prompt window open and it's going to go through a little process there. Once you've seen the Steam command prompt, type in login anonymous. And next you're going to want to type in force install dir and choose a spot that you'd like to install your server at. This is nice in case you ever want to install a dev version or anything like that later, you can have multiple servers. Once you've done that, type in app update 258550 and enter. It'll take a few minutes for the server files to download depending on your internet speed. And once you see the Steam command prompt again, the server files should have successfully downloaded. Navigate to the spot that you chose for your Rust server files, and you should see a few folders along with some files, including Rust dedicated application. In order to configure your server, you're going to want to create a batch folder. In order to do this, right click in the folder, select new text document. Give it a temporary name like start for now and hit enter. Once the file has been created, right click, select edit. And at this point, a notepad should pop up. Paste in the contents of the batch file that I've provided in the description. Uh, you can configure or tweak some of these settings like host name or server seed in order to be able to configure your server. That does get more advanced though. The most important part, however, is to click File, Save As, give it a new name, we'll call mine Server Start, and then type in .bat, .bat, and then select Save As Type All Files. Once you've done that, click Save and close Notepad. You should see a new Windows batch file within the folder. If you were to double click this now, it would start a vanilla Rust server and you're ready to play. In order to have it public to your other friends, you do have to forward your ports through your router. If you're going to be using Oxide mod of the server, navigate to the folder where you extracted the Oxide zip, copy those files, and paste them in the same folder where your Rust server is located. It's going to ask you if you want to replace the files in the destination, and you're going to say yes. Once you've done that, you're good to go with Oxide mod. You can start downloading plugins and installing those. And in order to start your server, you're just going to double click your server start with the Windows batch file that we created. You should see some messages spawn, uh, spawn on the screen here, including ones relating to Oxide. If you see that, including your server name that you set in the configure file, you should be good to go. If you have any questions about this video, please let us know in the comments and we'll try to help you out. If you like the video, let us know. And if you want to see more like this, subscribe today. This has been Amadeus with Rusty Pirate Gaming. Thanks for watching.